In a real application, rather than passing a single object, we will pass an array of objects, such as when we fetch or post data to an API. So let's dispatch an array, and as a payload of the array, we put two books objects. Let's also modify our log to access the price of our second book. We need to remember to change our initial state to be an array. If you save and refresh, you see that now we have two objects in the state and we are accessing the price of the second book. Now let's make another example to start looking how to deal with CRUD operations in Redux. CRUD stays for create, read, update and delete. Let's imagine we need to append a third book in the state. So we could write a second dispatch action that posts a new book. If you run this, you will see that we are getting an error. This is happening because we didn't append the third book to the state. But in reality, with the second dispatch, we are overwriting the state. So let's remove the log so we have a cleaner view of the state. And again, we first have two book in the state, but after, when the second action is dispatched, the first two books are overwritten and therefore lost from the state. Finally, in order to append new data to the state, you need to create a new array which is made by concatenating the current state array with the new payload. Never use push to concatenate two arrays in Redux, but instead use concat method. In fact, push is a mutable method in JavaScript, while in Redux, you should never mutate the state. Sounds complicated, but indeed it's very simple. Don't worry for now, I will explain you immutables and why you need them in Redux in the next video. Finally, if you save and refresh your browser, you can see that the third book was now appended correctly. Most of the time in a real app, we will have a state that is an object containing multiple pieces of data. For instance, in a bookshop, we could have an array for books, but also an array for categories, and so on. So let's improve the design of our state by initializing it as an object that contains a books array. Of course, we then need to update our concat function. And we will now return an object and not just an array. If you save and refresh, you can see that now our state is becoming a little bit more meaningful and easier to read and eventually to access. One last thing, mostly of people when it comes to write operations in Redux prefer to use the spread operator because it is more concise. For instance, you could write something like this. In the case of array, the spread operator creates a copy of the array. So in practice, here we are creating a new array of, on the fly that is made by two elements, state.books and action payload, which are a copy of the respective arrays.
Just bear in mind that in order to use the spread operator, you need bubble preset stage 1. We already installed it, so you don't need to do anything. If you save a refresh, <clears throat> you will notice that uh, we are missing the third book in the state. This is happening because we still didn't uh, uh, update our second action to dispatch an, an array rather than an object. You can now save and refresh to make sure everything works fine after the latest updates. In the next video we will explain in deep state mutations and pure functions.